Jeffree Star just released his new video and it's getting a ton, a ton of positive reactions. It's getting a lot of likes and a lot of the comments are saying thank you Jeffree for being the bigger person in this situation. But in this video, I wanna ask the question, is he being the bigger person or is he manipulating the situation? What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is take a look at the YouTube community, all the drama going on and see if we can take this mess and turn it into a message because what good is watching all this stuff if we're not taking a look at it and trying to see how we can learn from it and apply it to our own lives. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So before I get started, before I get started, I've been doing commentary on this whole situation. I'm hoping a lot of people have learned a lot about themselves, about the community, about the beauty guru community, and everything like that. But something that I keep on touching on, I keep on touching on, is being an independent thinker, okay? So as I go through this video and I present questions, my opinions on things, like form your own opinion, okay? Myself, any other commentary channel out there, any beauty guru, any YouTuber, we are not the word of God, okay? I'm gonna present some things, just some questions I have about the situation, but I want you to form your own opinion and maybe let me know down in the comments below. Okay, we good? We good, all right? So the next thing is, I'm gonna go a little hard on Jeffree Star, but I do wanna compliment a few things from his video, okay? The first one is his apologies, okay? I respect him for apologizing to James Charles' little brother. And he hit on it perfectly. And I, I hope to God you guys take something away from this. Like, I always try to explain by, that by default, we as human beings are very selfish creatures. We think everything is about us. Everything is about us. And what Jeffree Star said to James Charles' little brother is exactly why we can't do that. Like, remember, Hanlon's razor, okay? like. Don't attribute to malice, which could easily be attributed to something else, like ignorance or mistake or whatever it is, right? Jeffree Star saw this tweet, he immediately assumed it was about him, and he clapped back at this young kid on Twitter. So I am glad that Jeffree Star apologized for that. But going back to, like, look at Tati. Like, she got the ball rolling on this whole situation. She let her emotions take control, and her, her mind was telling her that James Charles was using her, he didn't care about her, he never promoted her products, or anything like that. Even though the evidence is there, is that he was. So you guys, just remember, if you forget everything I say in this video, just remember this, everything isn't about you. Okay, there is a chance that things aren't about you. Here's an example for all of you and your daily life. How many times are you scrolling through like your Facebook feed and you see friends, family members or whatever, and they do like uh, one of those like vague book posts and you assume it's about you. You immediately assume it's about you. Even though they have hundreds and hundreds of friends, they have a lot of stuff going on in their personal life, you immediately assume it's about you. Not everything is about you, baby girl, okay? So take a little chill pill. So I, I do respect Jeffrey for apologizing for that. Now, he also did apologize to James Charles for listening to a lot of hearsay and everything like that. I'm going to dive deeper into that in a second, but kudos to Jeffrey for apologizing and taking ownership of his part in this entire situation, okay? The second thing, the second thing that I want to commend Jeffrey on is being open and honest about the old Jeffrey wanna come, wanting to come out. I can relate to this so much so, so, so much. For those of you who don't know, I'm a recovering drug addict and alcoholic. I'm coming up on seven years clean. I had a lot, a lot of anger issues. I used to joke that drugs and alcohol were my anger management tool because they kept me from popping off and being just so outraged and freaking out on people. Like, I used to be an absolute menace. So I can definitely empathize with Jeffree Star where he talks about how he gets in these modes where old Jeffree wants to come out. When I originally started covering Jeffree Star, it was around the time Shane Dawson did his little short docu-series on him, and I made some videos about how depression can turn into anger and all these other things. So I, I do empathize with Jeffree Star and his kind of outbursts on Twitter. And like I said, I've had to learn a lot about this, like now understanding that my platform is bigger and things I say, like I get that, but like, Man, I'll let you all know right now. Like, I I have been on a blocking 
and a muting rampage on my YouTube channel and social media. You wanna know why? Because old Chris in there, the old Chris that likes to blow up on people, he is still in there just banging on the gates trying to get out, all right? So like, I understand what Jeffree Star is talking about and all we can do, all people like myself, like Jeffree Star, like you can do, is try to keep that old version of yourself at bay because like, I've been through therapy, I've been through 12 step programs, like the fourth step, my first fourth step, oh girl, it was a long list, all right? And old Chris is still sitting in there. And that's one of the reasons, shameless plug, that I wrote my book, Rewire Your Anger, is because the Chris today is nowhere near the Chris I used to be, all right? There are a ton of stories that I am not proud of at all. But I get what he means by the old Jeffrey starting to come out. Now, as far as what's happening right now, an angle of this story that I never thought of until I just watched the new iNabber and I'm Alex videos, which I'll link down below, um, they covered this perfectly. And an angle they touched on that I hadn't thought about was, like, it's pretty messed up. It's pretty messed up to hold on to information and weaponize it, okay? Like, I never discussed how, especially if it's a danger to other people and it might prevent other people from being harmed, like, it is messed up for you to hold on to that information. And uh, I'm Alex, dove into that even more, just talking about, like, if you have any information you haven't come public with it, like, that's messed up of you and it's a scummy thing to do. And I absolutely agree. And I'm Alex showed an old clip of Jeffree Star where he's talking about how he holds information on everybody just in case he needs it someday. And in all honesty, like that's what I think a lot of the beauty gurus do. It's like, it's like when you go to beauty guru training school, if you're gonna be a YouTuber, you learn to like keep all the receipts and everything like that just in case some stuff pops off. But here's the issue. Here's the issue that's going on, okay? And keep in mind, none of us would have known about this unless James Charles hadn't shared this in his video. But anyways, the first text says, Grayson is going on camera shortly to finally tell the world how you tried to him and touch him in his sleep and made him uncomfortable for months, you sick mother effer. Next, Zach will be going on camera to tell how twisted and sick you were, trying to get him to like you and then make him feel bad when he didn't want to send you photos back. Then Sam from Seattle will be joining me on camera to talk about you trapping him in the hotel room. You need to be locked in prison for a very long time. You need the internet taken away from you. You are a danger to society. By the way, as I read that, like James Charles kept saying, I don't know who Cameron is. I think that was a typo. I think uh, Jeffrey was saying on camera. All right, but then here's the message that Jeffrey Starr sent to James Charles' friend. How do you sleep at night knowing you enable and support a predator and a pedo? Hopefully you seek help very soon and get away from that monster. When he trapped that boy in his hotel room in Seattle and you didn't care about it, I knew you didn't have a soul either. So that's, that's the part that's disturbing to me and bringing up the question of, is Jeffree Star manipulating this situation? Is he manipulating the storyline? Did he figure out that maybe the best way to respond to this was to appear as the bigger person, all right? Because these are very serious allegations. Something I've been touching on was, unless Jeffree Star has something that shows James Charles is a criminal, he should back off, all right? Like, and that's the thing. So, again, be an independent thinker on this situation, but, but I have a theory and I might be completely wrong. You can let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, all right? Jeffrey is a smart businessman. Now, being a smart businessman doesn't mean that you have your emotions under control, but he has had time to sit back and look at this situation, look at all of his receipts, and with the serious allegations that he texted James Charles about, like if you do not have the evidence, James Charles could sue the pants off of you. So what I'm wondering, what I'm wondering is if Jeffree Star, did he really have this conversation with Nate and his mother and realize that he needs to, you know, change how he's using his platform? That that very well may be possible, and I hope to God that's the truth. Or did he start going through all his receipts 
Did he maybe even talk to a lawyer and realize that if he exposed this information and it was just hearsay and no evidence that he would be royally screwed? And again, again, this is just something that I'm wondering, that I'm curious about and I have no evidence of this. Obviously, I don't know Jeffree Star, but I think we need to really take a look at this situation, all right? Like, I know I've been going in hard on Jeffree Star in my previous videos, but I, 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 I don't agree with cancel culture. I don't think Jeffree Star should be canceled or James Charles or Tati or anybody. At the end of the day, what a lot of people are saying, especially like, uh, again, I Nabra and I Malice, they mentioned in their videos, is like, this is all just really sad. Like, it's a really sad situation, like where friends are holding information against other friends and all these other things. And that's one of the issues with just growing up in, uh, uh, in social media culture and everything like that. It's all about exposing and getting the, the mob on your side and every, it's like, I, I don't wanna be that old guy, but it's, it's like a lost art of just talking things out and having conversations. You know what I mean? But again, like, I, I hope James Charles, I hope James Charles accepts Jeffree Star's apology. Their relationship might be ruined forever. His relationship with Tati Westbrook might be ruined forever. I hope everybody learns from this situation and learns, and learns about what can happen when you make one of these exposed videos and when you have this kind of voice, when you have this kind of power and you release that into the world, especially with millions of people, like you guys, my entire goal of this YouTube channel has always been to try to help you see what you can learn from these situations. So if there are any aspiring YouTubers out there who watch my videos, if you want to you know, get big on social media or whatever it is, like please learn from the mistakes that your predecessors are making, okay? Learn from those so you can avoid that in the future, all right? Because the beauty community, this, this, I, I've been following the beauty community for a year now, and it seems like so far, two for two, once a year, this gigantic thing happens, and it's like, just get back to makeup, dude. <laughs> just get back to makeup, you know what I mean? So anyways, I would love to know your thoughts on this situation down in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you like what I'm doing here and would like to help support the channel as well, click or tap on that Patreon icon right there. All right? Thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.